a tradition at a wedding that no single woman can escape. That point at the party when the bride tosses the bouquet, and as tradition holds, the one who catches it is the next one who will get married. Lucy Robbins has caught many bouquets over the years, but she still hasn't been married herself. But pay close attention. Something strange and unusual is beginning to blossom. Do you, Alan, take Brenda to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Then, by the power vested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. It's an exciting day for Brenda and Alan. They met in high school and immediately knew that one day they'd marry and spend the rest of their lives together. This is that glorious day. I have been a bridesmaid at five weddings this year, and although I'm very happy for my sister, that's five weddings too many. I'd much rather be a bride. All right, everybody, come on! I'm gonna throw it. Get ready. All you single ladies, come out there. I've already caught the bridal bouquet at three out of those five weddings that I've been in this year, and I didn't even get a date out of it. Not blessed with my baby sister's good looks, I was beginning to come to the painful realization that a bridesmaid is perhaps all I'll ever be. Brenda and Alan enjoyed two wonderful years of blissful marriage. Everything seemed to be going their way, but soon tragedy would strike. Alan would go on a sport fishing trip in the Caribbean with his boss and several clients. Their boat would be lost in a storm, and everyone on board would perish. Brenda had a hard time adjusting to the loss of Alan. After a few months, I suggested that she move in with me. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be great. <laughs> We're going to get through this together. I love you, sis. I love you too. My sister wanted some alone time, so I decided to give her space. Most of the time, you could find me at the computer, surfing the web. Somehow, on the internet, I could be myself. I felt a freedom to share that I never felt face to face with people. It was so easy to talk this way, especially to my new friend Corey. He seemed to be in tune with everything I liked. It made me feel good to exchange my thoughts and feelings with him. <laughs> no. Well, then, what are you doing? Uh, I'm in this chat room. I met this guy named Corey. Want to try? I don't think so. Oh, come on! It's fun. You might enjoy it. I'm not ready. I don't think I'll ever be ready. <sighs> I spent hours communicating with Corey in our own private chat room. The conversation was becoming more and more intimate as the days and nights passed. A date and a place to meet were finally set. I couldn't wait to share the good news with my sister. That's great. I'm so happy for you, Luce. Just be careful, okay? What do you mean? Well, you met him on the internet. I hear sometimes weird things happen to people who meet on the internet. Oh no, no, no! Don't worry. I always carry my little can of pepper spray and my police whistle. I'm not kidding, Lucy. Neither am I. Have a good time. Oh. I arrived early for my date with Corey. He was supposed to be wearing a red polo shirt. Oh. 
Corey? Yes. Lucy? Alan? Oh, what, what's wrong? Uh, I'm sorry. You look exactly like my brother-in-law, and he died in a boating accident six months ago. <laughs> I almost died in a boating accident six months ago. I, I've been suffering from complete memory loss ever since. Your name is Alan. Alan Weaver. Alan Weaver. Yeah, you know, I think that you should come home with me and meet my sister. Over the next several months, Alan slowly regained his memory. He and Brenda fell in love all over again, and they decided to rededicate their vows in a full-blown ceremony. And by the power vested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. So many feelings going on inside. I haven't really tried to deal with them yet. Oh, by the way, my friend is getting married next week. And guess who she asked to be a bridesmaid? Does this story seem possible? Was the sister's husband really the victim of amnesia? Or was he trapped in a lie? And what about Lucy? Is there still hope for her? Or will her future hold more disappointments? Have we presented you with the truth in this tale of a woman who never walks down the aisle? Or are we leading you down the garden path? Next, an unsolved murder and a witness that speaks from the grave on Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction.